for for a long time now, all of us uh, iPad users. Um, Skype for the iPad uh, has just come out um, not too long ago. Uh, very, very new. It's the top selling right now, or top free, I should be saying, in the App Store. Um, we've all been waiting for this for a very long time, and finally it's out. So uh, I'll just stop talking and I'll uh, get into it here. All right, so here is uh, your startup, pretty much all the main stuff right here. Um, you'll notice right here, uh, starts up your contacts right away. This is the new look for the contacts right here. Um, really, really cool, really uh, organized. So if I wanted to call someone, I would just tap a contact. So for example, if I wanted to call my friend uh, Manny, I would uh, click his contact, and uh, I could pretty much choose if I want to do a video call, chat, uh, call, or SMS. And down here, it uh, pretty much shows all of his uh, his profile, pretty much his gender, birth date, homepage, country, etc. You get the point. And right there is uh, where his picture would be. And my pictures aren't loading right now. I don't know why, but I'm sure you get the point. And in order to get out of this, you would just click anywhere outside of that. So that's pretty much the contacts right there. Um, I'll go over here. Uh, you have uh, you can choose contacts or history. Clearly, we're in contacts, so uh, history would be right here. Just downloaded it, so uh, no history for right now. And up here in the top left corner is uh, your little profile picture. When you click it, um, your info will pop up. And here you can change your photo, your status, anything in your profile, etc., etc. Um, in order to change your uh, profile picture, is a little camera icon in the top left up here. You would uh, click it and it would ask if you want to take a photo, choose an existing photo, or delete a photo. So that's really, really uh, cool. And I'll get out of that. And up here in the top right corner, um, you can uh, dial a phone number. And uh, um, over next to it is a little plus icon. This is where you can add people pretty much from Skype, or you can uh, have put uh, save a phone number. And up here, you probably can't see, which I apologize to if it's blurry. Um, right here it says tags. You would uh, click that and it would take you out of context because it starts you up right in the context page. Go back and it uh, would show a couple different options, which is all contacts, iPad contacts, online contacts, saved phone numbers, or <clears throat> excuse me, or uh, Skype contacts. But for right now, I don't have many. I haven't entered everything yet, so I'll just stick with all contacts and uh, that really is the main points to Skype for the iPad um, I'm really happy right now that it's finally out I'm always on Skype so uh, very convenient for myself right now and uh, I'm sure many other people so hopefully that will give you a good taste of what it's about it's free in the App Store right now go check it out until then my name is Nick from iDevice Review Guy don't forget to follow us on Twitter don't forget to subscribe for more app reviews app previews, everything else we do, apps pretty much. And until then, I will see you guys later. Have a good day.